News with your Weather Plus forecast starts now. A home which can stand up to 250 mile an hour winds, won't burn in a wildfire, can't mold, too good to be true? West Tuesday, McDaniel visited a home in Volusia County where the guy who plans to live in it believes in it. It's a house of different design. Lightweight cement blocks, which are 60% air, becoming one tough cookie with a layer on each side, rebar in the middle, and traditional concrete poured down the center as filling. I firmly believe that it will withstand any hurricane that we'll see in my lifetime and in any future lifetimes. That's not the guy trying to sell the technology. While he did buy stock in it, he bought it for his own house first. That's from a guy who lived through the hurricanes of 2004, who has seen the recent wildfires, and oh, he's seen a share oh. of tornadoes too. When I said, whoa, this is a lot better than block just poured with concrete. Absolutely, five and a half inches of solid poured concrete. Now she is the one trying to do the selling. Just the five and a half inches of solid poured concrete is 250 mile an hour resistance. The folks at Omnicrete say their claims of withstanding wind loads of over 250 miles an hour might be double that number if testing equipment was better. They say wildfires won't touch it either. We have four hours on the outside, four hours on the inside, at least six, seven hours in the core. It's not going to burn through. The Whitakers did decide to include a safe room in their design, a solid area, no windows, where they can take refuge during a storm. But the folks at Omnicrete believe that the entire thing is a safe room. We've been invited to ride out the next hurricane with the Whitakers. Let's hope we don't need to. In Osteen, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Well, you can sure see why this might be a growth industry, especially here in Central Florida. People are afraid of hurricane season, and, and rightly so. As they should be.